Page types are a powerful tool that can be used anytime you want to make a number of pages with the same structure but different content. Examples could include case studies, product listings, or SEO landing pages. Leveraging Butter's page types allows you to quickly and easily generate similarly structured pages with a minimum amount of confusion or error. For this demo, we're going to be making a set of customer case study pages to showcase some fictional clients. You can create a page type from any existing page. Since we don't have any case study pages set up yet, we'll need to create our first case study as a single page, which we'll then tell Butter to use as a basis for our new case study page type. Go to your pages dashboard and click New Page and Create New Page. Choose the fields you want to define on your new page. For our case study, we'll use four short text fields for an SEO title, an SEO description, an open graph title, and a headline. We'll use a media field to include a customer logo, and a WYSIWYG field for the testimonial, which will allow us to use formatted text and include images. Now let's save and populate our data for our first fictional customer, Acmeco. Now that you've got your data populated, you'll want to either save a draft or publish your changes. Great! You've just finished setting up a new single page for Acmeco, which we can use as the basis for a page type. The next step can be performed directly from the editing view of any completed page. Click on the three dots in the drop-down menu, and then select Edit Schema, which will bring you back to the page configuration view. Now, however, there's a new option, Create Page Type. Give your page type a name. Here, we'll use case study. Note that the page type API key, or slug, appears in red below the name. This field can be used by a developer to return all pages of a specific page type from the Butter API, like if we wanted to create a list view of all case studies. The data returned by the API can be further filtered or reordered by a number of different query parameters, like the title, the date published, or specific fields. Let's go back to our pages dashboard. You'll note that our case study for Acmeco now has a case study page type applied to it. Additionally, if we click on New Page, we don't just see the Create New Page option for single pages. Instead, we now have a new option to let us create new pages of the case study page type. You can edit the configuration of a page type at any time. To access it, go to any page of that page type and click Edit Schema to return to the configuration view. From here, you can reorder, rename, delete, or add fields, but be careful. Changes to the configuration will affect all pages that share the page type. Make sure to check with a developer before renaming or deleting a field if you're not sure.